What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Raven's Reviews and today we're back reviewing Assassin's Creed Mirage. Now, for those of you that don't know, Assassin's Creed Mirage is the 13th installment in the Assassin's Creed series where it is set in 9th century Baghdad during the Islamic Golden Age and you play as Bas Basim um, a street thief who joins the Hidden Ones to fight for peace and liberty against the Order of the Ancients. So, what this is, is it's you play as Basim and you join the Hidden Ones, which are the Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, you'll recognize that sort of Hidden Ones um, name from such things like Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, that's the first place that popped into my head when I heard that. Um, but yeah, guys, Assassin's Creed Mirage, right, was definitely a game that I preferred over such things like Valhalla and, um, and even Origins, if I'm honest. I think this was better than Origins, and I really liked Assassin's Creed Origins after I gave it some time and thought about it like a standalone title. Um, with this game, guys, I felt like it really did go back to what I would class as the OG Assassin's Creed. And what I mean by that is they didn't try to overcomplicate it like they did with Valhalla. There was a clear linear storyline there were clear side quests. It was a clear map with exploration. Everything just felt like normal. And that's, that, that's what I wanted in Assassin's Creed games. I didn't want to continue playing Assassin's Creed series games if, if they were all going to keep on being like Valhalla because that to me, they overcomplicated it with, with combat, with the story, with trying to do way too much with like online things um i didn't like it whereas this like i said everything felt clear it felt precise it felt simple and not simple like simple in a good way if that makes sense um so yeah that's that's sort of like my brief little summary now i'm going to talk about the combat um the combat in this game honestly felt smooth there were at times where i thought enemies moved slightly too fast for a parry or things that i thought should have been a parry didn't parry and etc etc but that's just a skill issue at the end of the day isn't it? um <laughs> but no i i did enjoy this game uh the combat felt smooth um and i i wouldn't really complain the use of tools as well made life so much easier throwing knife in somebody to the head or putting two guards to sleep to go straight past them or to pickpocket them for a key or something really really good i didn't feel like there was such a force on having to use tools um which again was good it sort of when it gave you the boss fights and the main assassinations it did sort of leave you to your own devices that said look this is this is where you gotta go this is roughly where your target is find your own way because i'm sure there are videos out there of people charging straight ahead and fighting everybody and going for the kill you got people like me that will probably sneak around use some use some distractions and such um and stuff like that but again there wasn't a force on the tools and the way that you can upgrade them um and use them for their, their maybe not intended purpose, such as like um, the noise makers or the traps you can turn into actual bombs. Obviously, that's not their intended purpose, but you can do that. Same with throwing knives, where you can lace it with something where it will literally remove the body as soon as you've killed them again it's just cool um now i am going to talk about what you guys just saw there briefly when it sort of all stopped and slow time 
I know a lot of people have hated on this mechanic, right? The like the instant kill. Um, I don't hate the mechanic. I think the mechanic is quite useful. However, what I what I don't like is how the devs explained it. So the devs said that the he moves so fast the animus can't register it, and that's why it looks like a glitch. That is poor and lazy writing. Um, but the ability to actually use it in game does come in handy. Um, especially if you're about to sneak into a compound and you see two, three, four, five guys all sort of in a group together, bundle them all up, hit them with that ability, and they're all dead. It's. Yeah. Um, so. It was lazy writing, but the ability, I think, is good. Um, now I'm going to actually talk about the story. So the story I thought was really, really good. I thought it was clear. It was precise. Um, I would say that dialogue between Basim and not main characters um, did feel a bit dry at times. Everybody sort of seems to have the same, not voice, but um, sort of like voice lines and speech um, repetitiveness. Um, same with going back to combat briefly same with his assassinations um his assassinations felt very very repetitive um there was like three or four different uh animations for it and yeah it it looks cool to start off with and then it gets boring off for a while um yeah so again with story Story was good. Main story was good. Side characters felt dry. Um, yeah. But the voice acting was good. Apart from that, I didn't have any problems with um, with main cutscenes. There was every so often I'd get a bug where um, not in a not in a main cutscene as such but in like the little side cutscenes there would be issues where people wouldn't turn or the camera angle would stay at a weird angle or stuff like that but <clears throat> but that's fine um so what have i done i've done combat story <clears throat> and we'll just talk about the size of the map i guess um the map i thought was actually quite big you see a lot of it in the main story however there are some bits that you don't see um i mean i'm now going through this game and trying to get the platinum and i've now reached all there's 20 viewpoints in the game it doesn't sound like a lot but especially when you do them all throughout the story you don't you don't miss much is what i'm trying to say um same with all like the collectibles and stuff um the collectibles are quite easy to get. You can get them just through playing the main story. You don't have to wait until endgame. Um, I am, I think, around 65% done with the trophies. Um, however, the trophies are pretty simple. It's like do all the collectibles. Hire five of each merchant. Um, do all the viewpoints. And then there are some combat quests. Um like uh, with that that big dude that I saw earlier that I threw a knife at his horn at that's one of the quests um, stay in open combat for 10 minutes and stay at maximum notoriety for 10 minutes defeat um, the strong dude that comes after you once you've reached max notoriety they're not hard quests to do um, but it's it's just there yeah this is the this is the quest I was on about. This is also another trophy where you have to take out five people at once using this ability. Um, yeah, see the whole the whole glitch thing, saying because he moves too fast. I think that's just lazy writing. Um, Ghost of Tsushima did it best, where they did literally this, but with every single kill and movement in between them. But hey ho, we can only ask for so much, right? Um, but no, yeah, if Assassin's Creed games keep on coming out and they're like this, um, I will be very, very happy. Um, 
I do wish the story was a little bit longer, if I'm honest. I believe I only played for... I want to say... 18 or 20 hours. Um, now, I know that probably sounds like a lot to some people, but to me, it felt a bit short. Um, I would have preferred a bit more of a story. I don't know how they would have done it, though, if I'm honest. I think they have timed it right with, with the pacing. Um... But I do wish there was more of it. Um, I'm sure there'll be DLCs and stuff um, that I can cover later on down the line if I so intend to and you guys want to see it. Um, I think this is probably where I'm going to leave this review, guys. I hope, I hope I've done enough um, to persuade you guys to maybe try this game out. Maybe at a lower price. I wouldn't say dropping right now like 70 um, UK pounds for it in the store is is worth it. Unless you're a massive Assassin's Creed fan and you've got the cash to splash. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely a fun game. Um, I didn't have any problems with running it or anything like that. Um, yeah. It's, it felt very smooth and clean to me. So, yeah, guys. If you guys want to go and watch some gameplay, uh, other than the stuff that's been in the background, you can go and watch the full series um, in the playlist below. If you guys are new here, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification icon so you know when my videos go live. It has been a while since I've done, since I've done a review, guys, so ignore me if um these review this review isn't quite up to par it has been a while since i've dropped a review but don't worry i've got more of them coming your way very soon if there is a game that you guys want to see gameplay of hear me do a review of my little thoughts tips tricks whatever drop it down in the comments below i read every single comment and i respond to them all as well let me know what you guys want to see um and I will try my best to get it out there or give you my opinion of it. So that's it for me, guys. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification icon if you want to know when all of my videos go live. It's completely free and it means the world to me and it helps me out an absolute ton. This was Assassin's Creed Mirage, guys. I had an absolute ball. I would give it a 8 out of 10. Um, but until next time, guys, I hope you have a blessed day. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, guys.